Good morning. Welcome to my laboratory. Uh, what you're looking at here is a hybrid circuit. This is a, a wireless receiver combined with an energy storage system and a jewel thief over here on this part. And this is a voltmeter and we're right now on the 2 volt setting so you'll be seeing um, millivolts here up to 2000 millivolts or 2.000 volts and uh, let's see let me explain some of this here for you um, okay there's no batteries in here people but you can see that I have two layers of this vector board and uh, in here in between the two layers there's a two-turn spiral antenna or loop made out of this blue number 30 Kynar wire wrap wire here. And on the receiver side everything is pretty much in parallel. Uh, the two ends of the loop are here and here. They go to these two little pads. There's a 250 microhenry choke um, on a ferrite core directly across there and then there's also a 56 nanofarad polyfilm capacitor 200 volt parallel and that's the basic receiver and then to change that into into DC to pump into the storage system we have a Schottky diode here and uh, then here's a bipolar electrolytic capacitor of 10 microfarads uh, uh, after the diode but in parallel with the rest of the stuff and there's a LED, a green LED directly across the capacitor here's the main energy reservoir this is a 2.7 volt 10 farad super cap and then down there you can see there's a resistor and a switch and that push button switch and that one ohm resistor is simply there to short out the one farad cap and to bleed off its energy and reduce its voltage uh, controllably by shorting it through that one ohm resistor and then over here is the jewel thief side here's the positive rail coming in from the positive side of the capacitor and then there's the eight turn eight by eight turn uh, toroidal inductor there's the base uh, resistor and capacitor in parallel there's the blue LED and there's the uh, NPN transistor there and when I and then there's a switch on the negative rail of that jewel thief circuit so that I can keep the jewel thief off or turn it on by pressing that switch so I think you can see that there's a little charge on the capacitor right now pressing the switch turns the blue LED on even though the green LED is not on okay so uh, and here I have the voltmeter and what I'm going to do here is we'll just look at the voltage on the capacitor with this with the voltmeter so positive to the positive rail side there and negative to the negative rail side there and you can see that we have about uh, 1.3 1 1.291 volts indicated on that capacitor so now I'm going to push the the short button here and we'll discharge the capacitors, the energy reservoirs through that one ohm resistor and now you can see that the voltage on the capacitor is going down, 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 down. These are momentary contact push button switches, both of them. So I want to get that capacitor discharged as low as I can reasonably get it takes a while to charge and discharge a 10 farad capacitor uh, 
All right, we're below 30 millivolts now, so I'm going to uh, take my finger off of the discharge button and you'll see that the capacitor will recover a little bit of voltage. Electrolytics do that. So let me short it again. Short it through that 1 ohm resistor. And now it's recovering a bit more slowly. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is turn on the uh, wireless power transmitter so that this system will receive some power and start charging the capacitor. I'm only going to let it go to 2 volts though because I want to stay in the uh, 1 millivolt precision range of the uh, digital multimeter there. I can go to 2.7 or even 3 volts uh, but uh, that's not going to be necessary for this demonstration. So I'm going to turn on the wireless transmitter now. And I guess you can see that the capacitor is charging. So let's watch the, the green LED, which is in strict parallel with the uh, power coming in and being stored on the big capacitor. Oh, let me turn off the overhead light. I guess you can still see yeah, you can still see everything. All right, so we're up to 1.28, 1.3 volts on the capacitor coming in from the wireless transmitter. And I guess you can see that the green LED is starting to glow now. Glowing pretty well. When we get up to 2 volts, I'm going to turn off the wireless transmitter. Okay, the wireless transmitter is now off, and uh, we're still a little bit over 2 volts. You can see that the green LED is glowing fairly brilliantly, so I'm going to discharge a little bit of the voltage. Okay, now we're now we've discharged enough of the voltage on that big capacitor so that we're below 2 volts. And so you can see now that uh, the green LED is still on, but it's very, very dim. And we have a very slow discharge rate on the voltage there. Green LED is still glowing dimly. That's in strict parallel now with the... With the um, reservoir capacitor. All right, now I'm going to push the button to turn the jewel thief on. <laughs> All right, and that cost us a little bit of voltage on the cap. So here we go again. All right, I don't know if you can even see the voltage. It's 1.91 right now. Now it's going to be hard to tell from the camera. You'll just have to take my word for it. But as the voltage drops, the jewel thief is actually getting brighter. We're at 1.84 now. Okay, so there's uh, 1.8. So what I'm going to do now is just hold the Jewel Thief button down and bump the discharge button so that we lose a little bit of voltage every time I bump it. So there we're at 1.68. 
seven two point six five so the jewel thief is still running well at about point six six volts point five nine Point five four five five. Now we're getting to the point where the jewel thief is starting to not want to run. Ah, there. So now we're below the jewel thief's threshold. So about 0 0.52, 0 0.53 volts is the threshold for the jewel thief operation. And here I think you can see that the voltage is rising while the jewel thief is on and it's getting brighter and I do not have the power transmitter on this is just capacitor recovery here okay there's no power being fed to the circuit this is just the capacitor recovering its voltage and running the jewel thief at the same time Five point one eight about is where the jewel thief comes on, or rather point five one eight. Let's see if I can do that again. Five one four, five one five, five one six, five one seven, five one eight, boom, there you go. Five one nine, five twenty. Alright. Thank you for watching.